When you think of nightmares, going to a nudist beach with your family has to be top of the list. Add getting stabbed by a stingray into the mix and it hits a whole new level. Here's how this disastrous day in San Diego unfolded for me. Welcome to Sketch My Story, a channel where real people tell their hilarious and sometimes crazy stories, animated by Mary Thompson. I'm Adrian Davidson, and this is my story. So we go out to San Diego for a wedding that my brother is officiating. He's also a big surfer, so he wants us to hit up the beaches. He's like, let's go to Black's Beach. It's got white sand, clear water. It's also a nudist beach, but it's got great waves. I'm like, sorry, what was that part before the great waves? You want to take me, mom, and dad to a nudist beach as a family? What's the matter with you? He's like, but the waves. I'm like, Mark, this is not about the waves. Right now, the waves are secondary to the main problem of being naked with our parents. Ugh. But somehow he convinces me to go. I'm like, if mom and dad take their clothes off, I'm going to kill myself. And that's going to be on you. Now, when you get to Black's Beach, there's no easy access. you got to hike down a cliff for like 25 minutes. It's like they didn't want nudes to be visible from the road. You know what I mean? They were like, you people go do your naked things down there at the bottom of the rocks where the children can't see you. Just don't bring it up here. And for some reason on a nudist beach, nobody's attractive. They had a sign, you wanna come in, you gotta be a gray, lumpy, kind of shapeless mass. If you are in any way desirable, please get off the beach. So I go into the water to get away from everybody. And as I'm wading in the shallows, something suddenly stabs me in my foot. I bring my foot out of the water and it's just shooting blood, 10 yards of squirt, just shh, shh, shh. I thought I was gonna pass out. I start screaming, help, help. And a couple of 400 pound naked guys start splashing into the water towards me. All I can see is just wild, unkempt crotch hair flowing before my eyes. I went from screaming help to let me die out here, please. Just let the ocean take me. But these guys scoop me up like a baby as their parts are just rubbing all over my body. And then they dump me on the shore. Now a crowd of people had gathered around as I lay there bleeding out in the sand. One of the men, I think he was their leader, says, looks like this fella got stung by a stingray. Now, to call it a sting is an injustice. Bees sting. This thing left a four inch deep gaping wound in the bottom of my foot. It took its dirty, filthy, horny tail and aggressively violated my foot with it. Then one of them says, uh, I think we have to pee on it. If I had pepper spray, I would have maced everybody there. A couple of the guys squared up to let it fly, and I was like, no, 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 no. That happened in an episode of Friends, but that is not a real thing. Plus, that was a jellyfish, not a stingray. Then somebody yells out of nowhere, nobody urinate on that man. It was a lifeguard, my guardian angel. He was one of the most SoCal California dudes I'd ever come across. He goes, got stung by a stingray, bro? Guess you didn't shuffle your feet. Everyone knows you gotta shuffle your feet in stingray country. Apparently the way to avoid getting stung is to shuffle your feet in the sand so you don't step on top of the stingray. But why am I explaining that to you? Everybody knows that, right? <laughs> I didn't, I was coming from New Jersey. He goes on, stingrays have poison in their tail. That's why you're in so much pain. Poison is literally coursing through your veins right now. I'm like, poison? Am I gonna die? He says, yeah. Just kidding, brah, you're gonna be fine. A lot of people react differently when they get stung. Some people, like you, scream like a bitch. But I had a five-year-old boy who got stung yesterday, and he didn't make a sound. I'm like, is this guy calling me a pussy? What's happening here? Now this is gonna sound a little gnarly, but the only way to extract the poison is to dig a hole and put your foot in boiling hot water. I said, thank you. Um, you know, I was really wondering how we could make this situation worse, and uh, there you have it. Here we are. But it's true, in order for the poison to leach out of your foot, you have to dunk it in scalding hot water and cover it with sand so you cannot move. So for the next hour, I was basically blacking in and out of consciousness as my stabbed and poisoned foot slow roasted in a lava pit. At some point, my brother yells, oh my God, the wedding. 
To recap, he was the efficient at his best friend's wedding, which we were about to miss. The only way to get off the beach was to climb back up the cliff, and I couldn't even put weight on my foot. So I get on my brother's back and we start going up in 95 degree weather in full sun. My brother wheezing like a dying donkey, just ah, ah, ah. I was certain he was gonna get sunstroke and drop me down the side of the mountain. After an hour, we finally get up to the top, drive back and make the wedding just five minutes before it starts with the groom having heart palpitations, my brother officiating in sandals, and me leaving a trail of blood down the aisle. The only consolation was that that night, at dinner, they were serving stingray. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out some of my stand-up, which can be found right here. And make sure to watch some more of these funny animated stories.